What are all the countries around the world where you can invest or donate a certain amount of money and get a second citizenship and a second passport. If you don't know who I am, I'm Rafael. I run Wealthy Expat. We work with multimillionaires all over the world to protect their money and their freedom. We've worked with over 500 clients in just three years. And recently, I was talking to one of my clients who is worth 600 million US dollars. He can basically buy a country. And we were discussing what second citizenship, what other passports he could get all over the world with that amount of wealth. So I'll tell you all the countries where you could potentially get citizenship if you have multiple millions of dollars. And obviously we have the Caribbean citizenship by investment programs. We have St. Kitts, St. Lucia, Dominica, Grenada and Antigua and Barbuda. All of these countries have signed a memorandum that they will have a floor of 200,000 US dollars for their initial price. So you can't get citizenship in any of these countries after a couple of weeks from now for less than $200,000. So if you're watching this video right now, when I publish it, it's probably before that price gets increased. So go ahead and get yourself a second passport from the Caribbean as soon as possible because the price floor will be increased to two hundred thousand dollars saint lucia one of these countries that you can get the passport for a hundred thousand dollars has not signed the memorandum yet but they said that they would sign it so probably over the next days and weeks they will sign it and they will have that price floor of two hundred thousand saint kitts and nevis the one that i have i invested a hundred and fifty thousand dollars into saint kitts and nevis i got my citizenship back when it was a hundred and fifty thousand now it's 250,000. All the others will be 200,000 and also the due diligence and the actual processing will be much longer and a lot more thorough. So the due diligence on your documents will be a lot longer and overall a lot more hassle after the next couple of weeks. The next country where you can get a second passport by investing into real estate is not the best passport in the world, but if you're just looking for a second identity, a second nationality, you have Turkey. $400,000 into real estate, you can buy all over the country. You can buy Natalia, Bodrum, Istanbul, wherever you want. Gets you a strong second passport that doesn't have access to Schengen, but has access to pretty much everything else. Turkey is a massive country, many different towns and cities that you can live in. Istanbul is extremely well connected and gives you access to Africa, Asia, and Latin America, and obviously some parts of the Middle East. If you're interested in those regions or you're just looking for a second passport for something else, to call home. One interesting fact about Turkey is that they don't extradite their citizens to other countries where you are not a citizen. So if you get falsely accused of a crime and you are in Turkey and you're a Turkish citizen, as long as the country requesting your extradition, you are not a citizen of that country, you will not be extradited. And Turkey also has great consular protection. It's one of the top countries in the world with the most embassies and consulates, and they tend to be very fast in helping you if you have any issues. The next one, talking about bigger numbers, we have Malta in the European Union. Gives you access to all of Europe. Gives you access to the US, to Australia, anywhere you pretty much want to go around the world except Russia, although you have e-visa. You can go with the Maltese passport. Now, this one takes around two years. The due diligence is strong. They're going to find out everything about you and you're going to donate around a million euros so prepare to lose a million euros in exchange for having an extremely strong second passport that's why i say if you have any second citizenship that you can get by ancestry if your grandma or great grandpa is from italy get that italian passport you're saving yourself a million dollars and you're also connecting with your ancestors like i said in the past video so malta is going to be an extremely strong one the best one out of these all and it's going to be for a million euros if you want just a second identity or second nation to call home and you really don't care about the power and reputation of the passport vanuatu is willing to give you citizenship for one hundred and thirty thousand dollars now this program doesn't have much due diligence. They don't even need the originals of your documents, no apostles, nothing. It's very fast. In one or two months, you can have the citizenship, but obviously you can't travel pretty much anywhere. You can go to a couple of countries here and there. You can live in Vanuatu, beautiful country, great people. I personally love Vanuatu. I went there last year. And you have a country that you could potentially call home, buy some land, buy very cheap land, very cheap property. Overall, just somewhere to go. In case the whole world goes into chaos, you have far-flung, Vanuatu and a second passport in case you ever need it. Now, two countries that I typically don't recommend anyone go for for citizenship by investment 
But if you have an extremely bad nationality, let's say you're from Syria and you can't go pretty much anywhere, maybe you're living in Dubai and you want to get just a little bit step up in your nationality, you could go for Egypt and Jordan. Both countries have pretty terrible passports, pretty terrible governments. They're in dangerous areas of the world. Overall, not countries the average Westerner is going to get citizenship in, but you might upgrade to a slightly better citizenship by getting one of these. Now, I said if you want to get the best out of all of these, you have Malta, but what if you want to get something more in continental Europe? In mainland Europe, you have Austria. This is going to cost you between three to five million euros, and it's not guaranteed. It is citizenship by exception. They technically have an official program. It's technically a straightforward program, but not really. It can take one year. It can take three years. They might make you learn German. They might not. They might make you buy some real estate, they might not. So it's really all over the place and it really depends on your particular profile. If you're an American, you have a business that generates $20 million per year, your net worth is $40 million and you're willing to invest 5 million euros in Austria, probably you will be accepted. If you are from Africa and you have $5 million and you're willing to invest two in Austria, then probably not. So it really depends on the actual nationality, on the profile and how much money you're willing to give to Austria in exchange for your passport. Even if you're worth $600 million, I really wouldn't recommend it. In my view, Austria is much more likely to introduce conscription or mandatory military service for you and your kids than, let's say, Malta. So if you want to get European citizenship, just go straight to Malta. Now, what are other official and legal programs that you can go through, but that are not marketed that much? In Africa, you have Cape Verde. Cape Verde is all over the place. If you find information online, you will see, oh, for 200,000 euros, you could get citizenship. Just give them 200,000 euros for investing to real estate and get it. But it's not that straightforward. They are rolling out a new law that has very clear terms. Let's say it's 150, let's say it's 200, 250 into real estate. You can buy real estate in Sal, for example. It's very popular for Portuguese people, for European people. They go there for the holidays. They will also have flights straight to the US. They have flights straight to Brazil. They have flights to pretty much every continent in the world except Asia, and it's developing pretty well. One of my friends is currently in Cape Verde, and he says that overall, it's better than what you'd expect out of some African islands. The passport itself is not that strong, but the great thing about it is that it gives you faster access to Portugal and Brazil, because Cape Verde speaks Portuguese, and they have a union of all Portuguese countries, meaning that you can get easy residency in Brazil, and then an easy visa and Schengen visa in Portugal. So it gives you access to those two continents as well as gives you great access to Africa. And another one which is currently all over the place, some people say it's on hold, some people say it's still going, is the Dominican Republic. If you invest 200,000 into real estate, you can get the passport within six months by not even spending time in the Dominican Republic and it is legal. You're not paying some guy 5k and getting a passport. This is a legal program. Now, because of the Haitian migration crisis, a lot of Haitians are trying to get into the Dominican Republic because they want to escape their country. And a lot of people know that there's a crisis going on in Haiti. The DR government has decided to be a lot more thorough and a lot stricter with this program. So it's probably going to take a lot longer than six months. It's going to require you to be in the DR for some amount of time in order to show that you have the commitment to the country in order to get the citizenship. But it is possible. The passport is not the best in the world, but it does give you better access to Latin America. So you could potentially get an El Salvadorian passport in one year instead of five by getting a Dominican Republic passport first. And then because of the treaties they have with other Latin American countries, you get El Salvador. The same that I talked about, Cape Verde, might be a pretty bad passport, but it gives you better access to other continents. Country number 14 that I forgot to mention, that's why I have a new haircut and a new shirt, is El Salvador in Central America. Very famous for Bitcoin, Nayib Bukele, taking all the gangs out of the streets and creating a safe country for a million dollar donation in either Bitcoin or USDT, you can get the El Salvadorian passport. I actually have clients who have gone through this program, US citizens who want to become Salvadorian citizens because they see a lot of potential in Latin America, because they see it as the new freedom country, because they're interested in Bitcoin or crypto. So if you want to make a direct payment to the Salvadorian government without having to go through a bank or insane two-year due diligence, because obviously they have due diligence, obviously you need to have a clean criminal record, but it's very straightforward. As long as you have a good profile, clean criminal record, a million dollar donation, you and all your family members can become 
Salvadorian, and then that gives you access to other countries in Latin America, as well as a very solid passport. And now, if you are worth hundreds of millions of dollars, like this example, and you want to get citizenship, you can do that pretty much anywhere. Pretty much every country in the world will give you citizenship by exception if you're willing to invest hundreds of millions of dollars. One great example is Slovakia. It's a country that people typically are not investing in to get residency or citizenship, but if you start a business, and you hire 300 people and you invest a hundred million dollars into this business, you will get Slovakian citizenship pretty easily. But again, we're talking about investing a hundred million dollars. The same applies for Mexico, Slovenia, Serbia, and some other countries in Latin America, like Argentina. There are provisions in the law that allow you to start a business, hire a ton of people, invest in the country, and then potentially get citizenship. Obviously, all these countries are not going to be a hundred million dollars. It just depends on your particular nationality, your particular profile, and what you're willing to do in the country. If you want to know what options you have available, depending on your profile, please book a call with us in the description below, and we'll tell you exactly which ones Thank you. And now the last ones, even though these won't cost you anything if you're worth hundreds of millions of dollars, but you still want to get another passport in a country that can give you some future protection, some future freedom, some future benefits, you could always give birth in Latin America. For example, you give birth in Argentina, your girlfriend, your wife gives birth in Argentina or you if you're a woman, and then you can get the citizenship pretty much immediately and your child would also get immediate Argentinian citizenship and then fast track citizenship in Spain. So you could just get a second passport, a pretty solid passport around the world, a country that is coming up, and it doesn't really cost you anything. Now, there are other programs out there that a lot of people talk about, like North Macedonia, Montenegro, Greece. All these programs have been canceled. All these countries have been bullied into closing down their programs. So unfortunately, they are not available right now. I've heard that in Montenegro, if you're willing to start a business, to start a property development firm, or something that hires more than 50 or 100 citizens in Montenegro, you could potentially get the citizenship, but an official straightforward donation or investment program, there are currently none. Now that you know all the citizenships by investment that you can get around the world, what about the countries that will give you citizenship by spending a short amount of time there? If you're willing to move to a country, spend one or two years in that country, what are the places that'll give you a second citizenship Check them out right here. The countries around the world that will give you citizenship by just spending a short amount of time there, you'll learn a lot right here.